Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, in the beginning of the movie, a great masterpiece by Akira Kurosawa. There is a guy, two people standing in the rain in a shelter. And one of them is saying, I don't know, repeatedly. That's how I feel now. I don't know what's wrong with people <laughs> today. I really don't. But I can tell you one thing is I regret going out on social webs, social media, whatever you call it. And I will be doing less and less of that now if, and in future. I can, I can promise you that, I think. <sighs> if you meet, if you are so lucky to meet people that you have something in common with it still doesn't mean that it will be always a happy experience communicating with them yes because there's too little maturity simple as simple as that today and People who are really mature, they don't go there. <laughs> they don't engage in a sub subreddit or whatever, all these other Twitter X, whatever it's called now. They don't go there. They don't engage in co communication there, or YouTube, or whatever you, whatever you got. You know, they don't care about it. Everybody who is intelligent enough and mature enough knows it's just these immature imbeciles and haters that go there mostly and uh, yeah so and nothing that's all there isn't more to say sadly it's become you know <laughs> humanity in this world the first world as they call it still it's uh, become just, yeah, it has become totally and seriously flawed. Nobody is willing to really listen to you and nobody is willing to give you a second chance if something goes wrong, if you happen to piss off somebody, they will just, you know, instantly tag you not no a <laughs> bad a bad hombre that's all and you are done they will not give you a second chance i've experienced that on facebook messenger i've experienced that on uh, various other communication platforms i have been banned for nothing so from several of them from just you know speaking my own you know mine voicing my opinions and even though they pretend they respect your opinions there the truth is pretty different if your opinion is not in line with the the most accepted ones uh, with this today's uh, mentality then you know, it, it's not a welcome opinion, and uh, <laughs> it, they look at you like you are some kind of lunatic almost, and some somebody who is out to, you know, make trouble, raise hell, whatever. And uh, you, I mean, you, the worst thing, it, it can damage your own self-esteem, because then, because, let's say, several people tell you you are no good because of what you wrote about somebody I don't know something whatever and uh, what what does how does it make you feel I mean many people will just I mean those people will have enough self-esteem will just blow it up and say oh who, what the heck who gives a you know shit about them and <laughs> 
but there are some that are you know they don't have that much self-esteem or enough and they will say start thinking well maybe they are right maybe i am like that you know maybe i need to work on myself and blah blah, blah. and then yeah you start behaving nicely even i mean <laughs> you start behaving in a different way you you become this really apologetic person who keeps apologizing whenever somebody gets even slightly offended or ticked off by something they wrote or said and the, but then you notice other people write even worse things or say in videos whatever and they don't apologize they don't really care so then you start wondering what's this about and then you finally realize it's all bs you know it's all very subjective so what if somebody he or she in uh, alaska think <laughs> i'm an asshole you know i know i'm not i know i'm not everybody can sometimes say things they maybe are a little you know not that you know great let's say not whatever reasonable or correct but you know that's because we are humans we are not infallible for crying out loud you know yeah but yeah people are so quick it's like they are just waiting for somebody to slip up to me <laughs> to you know make a blunder or whatever and today it's so easy to make that blunder you know that's even worse because there's so much that is being censored there's so much that is being flagged that is people get canceled for literally you know very little today and uh, yeah i mean the hate i mean you get you can get like come on yeah so yeah i argue if you argue with people like that they will brand you like somebody who loves to argue and uh, who is a troublemaker. But that's like, you you take that bait. There's always somebody who's baiting you, right? There's always somebody who's waiting for you to take the bait and start arguing with them. They make this thinly veiled attacks at you or jabs at you, whatever. They love to provoke they love to you know even insult they love to make you question your own judgment your own intelligence even and that's terrible those people should be you know those people should be canceled but sadly they don't get canceled really that often instead they are allowed to spread their shitty propaganda there they are being thought of as really great people even by certain social media warriors to go that way and yeah so and then you know all this division people dividing groups yeah i'm quite fed up with everything with all that and also when it comes to fracom with these streams now i go to this stream that stream so and then somebody may get upset and say, hey, why did you go to his stream? You know, he's not a friend of the guy, of our leader, <laughs> to put, put it that way. And like, yeah, I, whatever, I don't really give a shit, man. And yeah, so uh, I really feel like leaving, uh, well, a lot of this bullshit stuff these medias i mean even this winter i had this group in on instagram and there i just saw just how pathetic how terrible people can be how they they love to you know make these jokes these jokes at your expense and if you react negatively they just tear you down you know, he can't take a joke, you know, ooh, he's so immature, he's this, he's that, sensitive, whatever. Yeah, all right, I am sensitive. So, you know, but who are you, you know, to judge me, you know? Like, you know, F you. 
you are you are worse than me i know it i know it <laughs> because you made you had to you couldn't rest before before you you know took a shot at me you know at whatever as the brits say took a piss out of me and uh, yeah like had it been done in a tasteful manner at least but no it's never really done really rarely you know in a manner that doesn't completely degrade Met somebody and uh, you know they love degrading people they don't like for some reason and yeah this is why we have this society today where you know school kids torment these outsiders and yeah it's terrible It's terrible, that's why I don't want to be a part of this whole fucking thing, you know, man. I've always been happier being an outsider, being on my own, and it's sad, yeah, but sometimes you think, you know, if the, the choice, the only choice is between being, hanging out with them, <laughs> or being in the cool company, or, you know, being by yourself, then I would rather be by myself, because that cool company isn't cool, really. It's not, it is people who, the price of being there, you must laugh at people uh, they choose as targets for ridicule. If you don't, you're out and if you also sometimes you gotta take jokes at your expense at least sometimes and unless you are really high up in that high how do you call it high here hierarchy whatever <laughs> and yeah only those who are really a few or two or three at the top they are like you know immune they they cannot be joked with you know like not at least not like in a mean way you know so that's really a shitty, shitty world there, shitty society, man. I mean, I'm gonna make a live stream talking about this. I already did it in the beginning of this year, which was called Why Are People So Mean Today? And it got more views actually than any of my other live streams and I'm really happy about that. It proves that I'm not the only one who feels this way. That feels great. Thank you. And uh, I don't care if I'm on all the jerks or whatever. You know, you can make fun of me as much as you want. But uh, at least I got my own opinion. I know what's going on. I can see and uh, have been long enough on these channels and so-called communities to be to spot bullshit right and call it out right so right see you soon bye